In the raw. Arcade Sky and Free Media, and I'm your friend, your host, your brother, Haji Dr. Ocean Cat. In the raw. With me today is the Kaicho News uh, new papers of um, Friday, January the 20th, 2023. Indian Guyana Partners for Development. And this is written by yours truly, me, Haji Dr. Ocean Khan. And it was it only went out yesterday, that is on the 19th afternoon, and they published it. Now, I want to say, um, what are the beautiful thing about Kaicho News is that it has matured. Whether you disagree with its principles, its philosophy, or the publisher's philosophy, I observe he's not trying to blend um, disagreements with publication of newsworthy letters or opinions or articles for information dissemination to the country. So I have to give my friend Glenn Lal an applause for trying his best to create an independent uh, newspapers of strength and power. So uh, Glenn Lal and I, we are friends, we respect each other, but there are certain pronouncements and style and his way that I disagree with. But at the same time, um, I do not question his patriotism. I do not question his loyalty uh, and dedication to the country. Whatever style and techniques he has, it is his way of displaying patriotism, even though uh, we cannot concur. And of course, in our religion, we are taught, the religion of Islam, the difference of opinion Difference of opinion is a blessing of my community, says Prophet Muhammad. So difference of opinion is a good thing. It creates articulation, wisdom, uh, research, uh, documentary studies and evidence and history and educational studies and, 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 and pronouncements and so on. So uh, uh, an applause for Glenn Lal and his Kaicho News, India and Guyana partners for development. Look out for another segment coming out on India for the 75th Republic anniversary or on India, Cradle of Cultures. India, Cradle of Cultures by yours truly, Haji Dr. Toro Ocean Khan in a presentation and also a print to the media. Dear editor, the editor, India will indeed be a mighty partner for Guyana. In economics and trade, it is one over the ancient civilizations and nations from which came a major portion of the Guyanese population and has an interest in being Guyana's long-standing partner, it says. His Excellency the President, Dr. Yerifan Ali, with a Guyanese team comprising of members of the private sector, recently made a visit to India to create relationships in industry and commerce, some monumental achievements were signed into various memorandum of understanding during this historic state visit to India. Guyana developed numerous collaborations in several areas, such as agriculture, technology, security, oil and gas, solar power, wind power, education, manufacturing, human resource development, climate change, healthcare, etc. etc. The President of Guyana receiving a number of high noble Indian honors, inclusive of honorary doctorate of philosophy and management studies from the Guru Gobind Singh Indra Prashta University in Delhi and the Pravasi Bharatiya Saman Award, which is India's highest civilian award that can go to any uh, persons of Indian descent in the diaspora of India, which will be around the world. Of Indian government grants to people of Indian origin in the diaspora for his or her contribution to politics and community welfare. I welcome these partnerships with open arms for India is the world's largest democracy. 
and is recognized as such globally. It is also the world's largest English speaking nation. First, cooperation in agriculture between Guyana and India for the exclusive production of millets in honor of the United Nations uh, declaring the year 2023 as the International Year of Millet, IYOM. The cooperation facilitates increased global techniques such as crop rotation and promotes millets as an alternative food source in times of increasing demand for vegetarian foods as it contributes to a healthy diet and land conservation in terms of its cultivation. It is primarily grown and consumed largely by countries in the subcontinents of Asia and Africa. I must make mention here of the Memorandum of Understanding MOU signed between the Guyana Manufacturing Services Association and NBR Cooling Systems PVT Limited, NBR of India, at the end of the Global Investors Summit in New Delhi, India. This agreement will identify and engage Guyanese companies or form consortiums to establish a manufacturing assembly plant in the engine cooling and automotive sector of Guyana. NBR has committed to allocating approximately USD $1 million for this venture, such as partnership. Such a partnership will revolutionize the automotive cooling sector in Guyana and the Caribbean. Dr. Raj Khan, the second, the lead representative of the Guyanese firm Ace Professional Services and Business Consultancy Services, also signed a memorandum of understanding with the Indian company the Squadron and with the goal of recruiting skill Indian nationals for highly specialized roles to support the rapidly expanding oil and gas economic sector in Guyana. In addition, the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICCI, signed a memorandum, memorandum of understanding that would allow for cooperation and understanding to promote bilateral trade and investment as well as business relations between India and Guyana. Dr. Rush Khan, Councillor of the GCCI, and Mr. Manish Singh Al, Deputy Secretary FICCI, were the signatories to the Memorandum of Understanding. Finally, MOU between the Guyana Office for Investments, Go Invest, and Invest India signed at the Oberoi Hotel in New Delhi, India, an agreement which focuses on the strengthening of investment economic relations between the two countries. It allows for foreign direct investment and creates a framework to promote the exchange of experience and relevant information between India and Guyana. Invest India is the leading investment agency in the world. Isn't that amazing? For those who don't know, ladies and gentlemen, India, it is the, the leading investing country and uh, Invest India, the leading investment agency in the world. It is the official investment promotion and facilitation agency of the government of India commissioned to facilitate investments in the country. These economic and trade relations between Guyana and India will further strengthen the ties between the two countries. Guyana's future with India is bright as it forges ahead in the new millennium. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Ocean Khan, Inter, Raw, fostering, applauding, encouraging the enhancement and enhancing of relationship with, uh, in this case, India, and I would say, as it is doing, as it is doing with all great nations, the UAE, Europe, North America, Africa in particular, with Ghana and South Africa. Friends and family, thank you for listening and sharing this, as you may see, pertinent to your friends and families around the world. Thank you, a few of friends.